good morning everyone today i am going to teach about or continue the lesson our constitution so it is the first lesson in civics so in previous class we know about what is the meaning of constitution what is the importance and framing the constitution and also we know about the preamble of the constitution children what is constitution constitution means a set of basic rules followed by the country what is constitution constitution means a set of basic rules followed by the by a country that means the rules and regulations of the government it also explain about the organs of the government and its power and functions which are the organs of the government which are the three organs of the government legislature executive and judiciary constitution explain the what are the powers and functions of legislature executive and judiciary and also our constitution explain about the what are the rights and duties of the citizen it is like a guide of the government so every person every citizen of the country follow the rules and regulations of the constitution it is must and should for every citizen no one should violate the constitution it is a fundamental law of the country everyone respect about it all people who live in india or live in country including president prime minister parliamentarians judges officers are all respect the our constitution they are all bound by it so it protect what is the functions of the constitution it protects the rights of the citizen all are equal before the law understood it protect the rights of the citizen and also it guide the government to what are the duties of the government what are the functions of the government how how they ruled it coordinate the functions of the democratic institution such as legislature executive and judiciary it also explain the what are the relationship between government and individual so the constitution is very important for everyone so now let us who was the father of our indian constitution dr b r ambedkar dr b r ambedkar called as father of our constitution after independence there is a no form laws and regulations in our country india faced many problems after independence the challenge of framing the constitution is also one of the problem so we also understand about the structure of our constitution and its characteristics constitution is a set of rules understood so it the first time that it was recommendation of motilal nehru committee and the decision take, uh, taken by the national congress at karachi before independence that means in 
1939 the first time motilal nehru committee recommended to form the constitution the first meeting was held at 9th december 1946 next meeting 11th december so in that constitution assembly our first president of india dr rajendra prasad was the chairman ship chairman of the constitution there are so many members in that committee in that committee there are 299 members in the constituent assembly after that the drafting committee the assembly created the drafting committee it also created by chairmanship of dr b r ambedkar dr b r ambedkar was law minister of india he was the first law minister of india in august he was a first law minister from 15 15 august 1947 to 26 january 1950 So India adopted the Constitution on January twenty six, nineteen fifty. Understood? When we adopted the our Constitution, January twenty six, nineteen fifty. What is the May? What is the declaration of our Constitution? Our declaration as in our Constitution as a republic. Every year, January twenty sixth is marked as the Republic Day, as it is a national festival. According to the directive of our Constitution, according to the directive of the Constitution, the first general election of India were held between nineteen fifty one to fifty two. the parliament by camarial legislature that means by camarial means lok sabha and rajya sabha came into force in 1952 our size of our constitution that means in our constitution contains 395 articles and 12 schedules so next we also learn in previous class what is preamble what is preamble our constitution of india is begins with a preamble preamble is a part of the our constitution so the preamble contains the fundamental policies and ideals of the constitution it is the sum of the structure values principles goals of the constitution it is based on the aspiration and ideals of the people of india the preamble is considered as the heart of the constitution as it represent the dream and ideologies of the people justice freedom equality self respect fraternity national integrity or the ideologies that find the reference in the preamble which are the ideal ideologies uh, reference in our preamble justice freedom equality self respect fraternity national integrity are all the ideologies that find the reference in the preamble in preamble first they started with we the people of india we the people of india it described the political system 
and is a key to the understand our constitution it is also called as jewel of the constitution preamble is also called as jewel of the constitution and it is also called political horoscope sing preamble what is in our preamble it having is so only resolved re resolved the constituent india into the sovereign socialist secular democratic republican secure to all its citizen justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression beliefs faith and worship and, al and also it has equality of status and opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individuals and the unity and integrity of the nation so preamble is very important it is our constitution preamble to our constitution is meaningful the preamble to our constitution is meaningful it describes our political system it is a key to understand our constitution preamble of the constitution being we the citizens of india the indian constitution is framed by the indians india is a sovereign country it also explain the india has is a sovereign country not under the control of any other country in the world india has own foreign policy non alignment policy five year plans understood so and, and also in in, in our pre preamble socialist the goal of our constitution is to create the social equality and promote the welfare of all the people in our country secular and also it, it has this it say in, in in our preamble india is a secular country the word secular has incorporated in our constitution no religion has been given the status of the national religion secular means no religion has been given the status of a national religion so it is india is a secular country everyone securing the happiness of everyone is the responsibility of the government in a democracy so india has a democratic republic preamble the problems are solved through the discussion elections are held every 5 years these are all the important things we see in our preamble next you children we learn about the silent features of the constitution indian constitution has its own unique features indian constitution is a written constitution republic fundamental rights and duties in our constitution is a, in, a, in our constitution india is a secularism we follow the secularism independent judiciary system universal adult franchise election system these are all the silent features of our constitution written constitution means indian constitution is the form of written form this is a lengthiest constitution in the world the structure power the extent of the power the three organs of the government which are the three organs legislature executive and judiciary are explained with written there is a, there is a single constitution both for central and state government so indian constitution the size of the constitution is big all are written in the form understood so india is a written india indian constitution feature was as written constitution and it has indian constitution republic the main feature of the indian constitution is republic our constitution declared india has the republic there is no rule rule of the king instead the rule of elected representatives by the people 
India which has this kind of political system is known as republic, democratic republic. That means there is a no rule of king. The rule of king, the rule was elected by the representatives, by the people. And also it has fundamental rights and duties. In our constitution, explain about the fundamental rights and duties. The constitution guarantees six fundamental duties to citizen. The state can never pass any law that curb these fundamental rights. In case of violation of fundamental rights, the judiciary has the power to rectify it. The citizen cannot exercise their rights as per their whims and fancies. The election, the 11 fundamental duties are there in our constitution. And also it explains the secularism is one of the future of our constitution. Our constitution uphold the principles of secularism. The government are expected to make no discrimination on the basis of religion are expected to treat all religions are equally. The government considered no religion, no religion of his choice or faith. Every citizen is at freedom to practice religion of his choice and faith. The government authority to control the freedom to practice one religion in the interest of the public understood this is one of the secularism is one of the future of our constitution and also india has it explained the independent judiciary the judiciary is independent of executives and legislature there are three organs in our constitution in our government no the they gave the judiciary is a independent power Neither the government nor the parliament can interfere with the functioning of the judiciary. All are equal before the court of law. All rights of justice is the principles of the judiciary. The decision of the supreme court is final. All are expected to adhere to it. So that means Indian judiciary is independent. No one should be interfered with the functioning of the judiciary and also in our constitution explain the universal adult franchise the system of electing the representative through the voting of adult members after 18 years they elect the representative is called universal adult franchise that means after 18 years, everyone to elect their representative to vote. All citizens are eligible for voting without any discrimination. Whatever it may be, it is a woman or men or old. There is no discrimination. Yeah, he belongs to upper class or lower class, all citizens of the country after 18 years, they are eligible for voting. Then the good government come to power. The main aim of the constitution is to wishes to establish the welfare state. What is welfare state? A state which sets a goal to provide the social and economic security to all its citizens. All its citizen is generally known as welfare state. A state which sets a goal of goal to provide the social and economic security to all its citizens is generally is known as welfare state. In our uh, constitution, it also explains the election system. What type of election system in India? India is a democratic country, no? So India is the largest democracy in the world. In the past six decades. Periodic elections have been conducted. The system of democracy has been adequately deep rooted in our country. It is still a satisfactory system in spite of certain demerits. 
so these are all the important silent features of our constitution which are the silent features of our constitution indian constitution is a written constitution republic fundamental rights and duties secularism independent judiciary universal royal franchise election system so these are all the silent features of our constitution so i think all of you understand about this lesson so look at the exercise children what are the questions what is a what is constitution do you know the answer what is constitution constitution means a set of basic rules followed by the country what is constitution a set of basic rules followed by a country understood next question who was the president of constituent assembly who was the president of constituent assembly dr rajendra prasad dr rajendra prasad was the president of constituent assembly what was the role of dr b r ambedkar in drafting of our constitution dr b r ambedkar was the chairman of drafting committee so he was the first law minister of india the members of the constituent assembly verified the drafting constitution dr b r ambedkar chairman of the drafting committee he contribution to the framing of the constitution so he is also called chief architect the members of the committee were gopalaswami krishnamachari munshi all these members with the guidance of ambedkar they enacted the rules and regulations of the government next next question on which day india was declared as republic january 26 1950 what is adolf franchis the system of electing the representative through the voting of adult members is called universal adult franchis what is republic what is republic it is one of the future of our constitution no republic republic means there is a no no rule of the king instead there is a rule of elected representative by the people this kind of political system is known as republic what is secularism secularism means the government or expected to make no discrimination on the basis of religion the government consider no religion as its as its religion every citizen is at freedom to practice the religion of his choice and faith understood these are all the important questions in this lesson i think all of you understand about this lesson i stop this lesson next class i will continue the next lesson till now take care be safe good boy thank you